Hi boys and girls, welcome back. As you know, my name is teacher Anika and I'm excited today because we are going to be doing reading. So you do not need your book, your pencil or your eraser. You can relax and we're going to read together. So do not be afraid. Sit down, sit up and pay attention to your screen. Are we ready? The name of the passage that we're going to be reading today is Jack's birdhouse. Do you know what's a birdhouse? You do? If you don't, you're going to get to see the picture of a birdhouse. So we're going to be talking about Jack's birdhouse. So let's read together. Look on the screen and you can follow the words as I read. If you know them, you can repeat them with me or after me. Or if not, it's okay. You can sit silently, but I want you to look at the words and listen to my voice. Jack wants to build a birdhouse. He gets some wood. Look at the picture there. You're going to see Jack and you're going to see the picture of a birdhouse. He has a hammer in his hand, so he's building that birdhouse. So let me read the two sentences again for you. Jack wants to build a birdhouse. He gets some wood. He gets some nails and paint. He gets some wood. At the bottom, you'll see pictures of nails, you'll see the paint, and you'll see the wood. W-O-O-D, wood. So let me read the two sentences again. He gets some nails and paint. He gets some wood. His mom helps too. She gets a saw and a hammer. She gets a pencil and ruler. Look at the pictures below to help you with the words. Saw, S-A-W, hammer, H-A-M-M-E-R, pencil, P-E-N-C-I-L, ruler, R-U-L-E-R. -E His mom helps too. She gets a saw and a hammer. She gets a pencil and ruler. Jack draws his birdhouse. They build it together. And we're talking about Jack and his mom. Look at the picture, look at the sentences. Jack draws his birdhouse. They build it together. Then they hang it up in a tree. A bird goes into the birdhouse. Look at the picture on the screen. You're going to see the birdhouse inside of the tree and also you're going to see the picture of a bird going into the birdhouse. A second bird goes in. A third bird goes in. A fourth bird goes in. They need a bigger birdhouse. They need a bigger birdhouse. Why do you think they need a bigger birdhouse? Because we have so many birds that are going into the birdhouse, they are not going to be able to fit. So let's look back at the sentences from the beginning. You can read with me or you can listen to me. Just follow the words on the screen. Jack wants to build a birdhouse. He gets some wood. He gets some nails and paint. He gets some wood. His mom helps too. She gets a saw and a hammer. She gets a pencil and ruler. Jack draws his birdhouse. They build it together. Then they hang it up in a tree. A bird goes into the birdhouse. A second bird goes in. A third bird goes in. A fourth bird goes in. 
they need a bigger birdhouse. I'm glad you were able to read with me. You can also take a storybook from home or maybe from your school library or the National Library and you can read as well. For those of you who have access to a tablet or maybe a computer, you can also let mom and dad go online and find worksheets where you can read as well. You have to continue reading so that you can get perfect at it. Continue practicing reading, whether online or using a book. And do you know you can also read the newspaper? Yes, you can pick up the newspapers and you can read it as well. Until we meet next time, I wanna hear you reading new sentences, new stories, and not just to yourself. You can read it to your mom or to your sibling. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and practice your reading. Until then, this is Teacher Anika saying goodbye.